What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Project Van Life YouTube channel. My name is Dylan, today I'll be your host. For the last five months, my wife Tiff and I have been traveling in this self-converted van through Europe. It's been an absolutely amazing experience. Check it out. So it's actually a really special day for us because we're going to be taking you guys through our van and showing you guys around, talking about the systems and answering some common questions about van life. Come on, let's go inside. Okay, so this is our van. It is a 2013 144 inch or medium wheelbase Mercedes Sprinter. We purchased this van as an empty panel van at the end of 2020. We spent about 15 months converting it, working mostly on weekends. And it was our first time building anything. Neither one of us had any prior build experience before we got in here. There's my computer right here. So if I'm looking over here, most of my notes. Why did we choose this van? Why did we choose a van at all? So when we were living in the UK, we knew that when it was temporary and when we left, we wanted to do a big road trip around Europe. We planned on doing about six months in a car, car camping and just trying to see as many sites as we could in the six months that we had. But then we decided to like, why not just build a small van, like a transit connect or something to make it so we don't have to book lodging every day and we could just kind of travel a little bit more freely. And then we just decided we'd live in a van. So we, sent, we went and test drove like long wheelbase or 170 inch sprinters and the big transits and even like a big Iveco. And we were trying to find like the biggest van to fit all of our stuff in so that we could live as comfortable as possible. We did a little more research and found that it wasn't as realistic for us to do that. So we ended up with the like 144 medium wheelbase it's just under six meters so we got the cheaper ferries in norway and it's it's like the perfect length it fits in a parking spot it's easy to drive and it has a high roof so i can stand up in here which is important i wanted to be able to stand up so if we're doing dishes or something it's just it, I don't know, it makes life a little bit more comfortable all right so things we would change one of the things we would definitely change about our van is our cushion dimensions if we were to do it again the Cushions are slightly like missized for the lids underneath and sometimes you have to move two cushions to open one lid and it could have been done just like a little bit better but we cut the cushions and we had them cut and then we ch kind of changed the design slightly and it, it changed how the cushions needed to be cut but it was too late because they're already done and now it's inconvenient it's not the end of the world but it could have been done a little bit better. Uh, we have an air conditioner in the rear of our van it is under the bench in the back and we don't use it. We've used it twice and one of the times we were just testing it, we don't really need it. It's wired up through our inverter so we can use it whenever we want to. It's just never really hot enough to need it. So we wouldn't install an air conditioner. I wouldn't uninstall this one because it's already in, but I wouldn't install another one if I was to build another van for Europe. In the States, I definitely would because it's really hot, but here you don't really need it. Another thing we would change about our van is having homes for everything. Some stuff doesn't have a, doesn't have a place. Uh, it lives on our bed. We shuffle it to the front when we want to go to sleep and we shuffle it from the front to the back when we want to drive. It's inconvenient. Our trash can is on the floor. It slides around. It needs to be secured in some way. And we would just make sure that everything has a home or is built into the van. It would make everything go, go a lot smoother. All right, so what do we love about our van? We love everything about our van. Honestly, it was really hard to find things that we don't love about our van, but a couple quick notes. We really love our floor plan with our collapsible convertible bed and our um, kind of open living style. We don't have a bulkhead and our front seat swivels, which gives us a lot of space in the front. And we don't have a shower cubicle or a wardrobe or something that goes from like floor to ceiling. So it just feels really open and spacious in here, even though it's actually really small. Uh, we have a sound system in here that we also love. It's pretty loud, but we, we use it when we're driving and sometimes when we're parked up like this in the middle of nowhere and there's nobody around so we can listen to our loud music and enjoy it. Uh, we love that our cushions are not fabric. They are kind of like a pleather material and they um, you can wipe them clean and they're still comfortable enough to sit on, sleep on, 
and I don't know, they don't get stained. If something spills on them, you just wipe it off. It's awesome. And the final thing that we absolutely love about our van is our radiant heated floor. We built a radiant heated floor in our van that uses like a glycol mixture so it doesn't use a lot of electricity and we can use it for extended periods of time when it's cold and dark and it doesn't eat our batteries. So it's been a really good investment of our time and money to make that work and I would definitely, definitely do it again. I don't. I literally don't do that. I don't even know what that means. I mean, so when we decided that we were going to take off and go on this trip, we budgeted for what ended up being a year-long trip, and we knew what it was going to take to do the trip for a year. So we haven't actively been seeking remote employment. We both have bachelor's degrees that translate well to remote environments, and we could get jobs if we want to, but we're really enjoying traveling. We don't want to right now. And if the day comes that we need to get jobs, we will. We're, we're set up for it and we're open to it. But for now, we're just going to enjoy our travels and, and just kind of live our life for a little bit. So that's kind of what it is. We'll figure it out. If we don't figure it out, we'll just go back to work. We have a few things in this van that we really couldn't live without. We really like our window covers. We purchased them. We did not actually make them. They're from Wonderful Soft Goods. They are professional quality. They are magnetic. They stick onto the doors nicely, and we like them. Um, they're, they keep out the heat, or they keep in the heat, however you want it. And they're just—they've been really great. And I—I I don't know. I wouldn't. I couldn't imagine life in here without them. Another thing that I couldn't imagine life in here without is a toilet. I know people live in vans without toilets. That will not be me. I cannot live in a van without a toilet. It's it's an absolute necessity to have in here. And it's the difference in my opinion between camping and like having a house. It's like it's where you it's where you start to, I don't know, bridge that gap. We're self-contained, we have a toilet. I wouldn't live in here without it. An oven. I thought when we moved into the van that I was gonna be able to survive with two induction cooktops and pots and pans. I was convinced by my wife to put a toaster oven in here with an air fryer built into it and I literally use it almost every single meal, way more than I don't. If you cook in your van and if you think you're going to cook a lot in your van, put an oven in there. If you think you can live without it, you probably can't. It's really hard to do. Another thing that I would say is a must-have gadget and gear for van life is a good camera or even if it's a good quality phone, camera, invest in something like that. If you're going to be traveling and making memories, you should document it. I look back on our footage and I love what we have, but I wish we had more. Every time we go to a place, even if I don't feel like filming, I'll still grab a couple shots just because I want to remember it and I want to be able to have good good videos and good photos in places that were cool and just to be able to remember the experience that much better. So I would definitely invest in a decent camera or even a good phone if that's, if that's where your budget's at. All right, and finally, why did we build our van this way? We, when we were designing the van, we spent a lot of time trying to make sure that it was like efficient and functional for us. We really wanted a four season fully off grid van, which is why we put the air conditioner in it and why we have the heated floors. The van would not heat very well if we didn't have the heated floors. I know some people love their diesel heaters. Our hydronic one with just the blower is probably not enough to keep us warm in actually cold environments, but the heated floor makes the entire van feel very warm and that's very important for four season van life. Um, another thing that was really important to us and why we built our van like this, we wanted to make sure that we had really good internet. We have a router, a 4G LTE router with two SIM cards. We could put two SIM cards in it and if one has better service than the other, it'll automatically switch. We have an antenna on our roof and that gets us service absolutely everywhere. There's only been like two or three times where our antenna and our van router hasn't had service, it's had zero signal. And sometimes it's like not the fastest, but I mean, even one megabyte's enough to, to get a message out or something like that. So we've been able to have service absolutely everywhere all through Europe and it's great. Another thing I mentioned off-grid briefly, but we have 600 amp hours of lithium and a 3000 watt inverter. We have solar panels on our roof and we have our alternator charger 60 amp from Sterling. Our electrical system is good enough to keep us off grid for like infinitely for, as far as our power goes. We never actually need to plug in. Sometimes if our batteries are a little low, we're at a campsite and it's free, 
we'll plug in, but we don't actually need to. So we made sure that we had for our van good climate control and good internet because those are the most important things for us. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you guys are interested in more details about this van specifically, there's a full van tour over on my YouTube channel. My link is in the description below as well as on the screen right here. And if you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.